To find and manage all of the display settings on Samsung Galaxy A05, first we'll need to open our settings. Then look for a display. When you enter it, we can adjust all of the settings and the first one is uh, your overall dim. You can switch between light and dark and that's the difference. We can move to dark mode settings and then turn on a schedule and set it to sun, set to sunrise or a custom schedule. That means it will change automatically based on the time that you enter right here. Uh, let's turn it off and go back. Then we can adjust the brightness of our display. You can use the manual slider or select adaptive brightness, which will adjust it automatically. Next is eye comfort shield. When enabled, you'll be able to enter blue light filter mode and uh, this will protect your eyes from uh, any damage uh, that from checking your screen at night. So uh, you can also schedule it right here or adjust the color temperature for it as well. Let's disable it for now and move to font size and style. Right here we can change the font style for our text. Also, we can activate or deactivate bold text, which increases a thickness of the font. And finally, we can also switch the font size. I'm going to keep it as it was before. Then we can uh, move to our screen zoom and here increase or decrease uh, entire size of our display. Next is uh, full screen apps. And if you have any apps right here, you'll be able to grant the full screen access to any apps that are visible. But for me, I didn't download any that allowed me to do it. So it's empty. Then there's the camera cutout. You can change how camera cutout will be displayed for each of the apps. And there's a difference right here on the top in this preview. So we're going to go with a camera and set it to show camera cutout. And for Google Chrome, I'm going to hide it. And then when we go into those apps, you will see the difference. So there's uh, no camera cutout. And when we go to Google Chrome, there it is. OK, let's uh, move to the rest. And next one is a screen timeout. Here you can change on how long your phone will stay on uh, without touching a screen. And uh, you can go for uh, 15 seconds between 30 minutes. Choose whichever time you like. Then there's the navigation bar. You can change how to navigate your device either by swipe gestures or uh, buttons. And for each of them, you also can find uh, different settings that you can customize below. Next is accidental touch protection, which allows you to uh, make your phone less, uh, uh, less random to unlock or perform something when it's in your pocket. Uh, and there's also touch sensitivity when enabled and you have a screen protector installed. It should increase the touch sensitivity if you have any uh, problems with it. And lastly, we have a screen saver. You can enable any of those options, which allows you to uh, have a something like on your Windows computer, the screen saver when your phone is uh, not active for uh, long. And it's basically AOD. So uh, in this case, I'm going to click none, but you can choose whichever one you like. For all of the photo modes, you can select the photos that should be displayed in that uh, AOD.